Today, we're at one of the most famous places, not just in Paris, but in all the world. It's the Palace of Versailles. We're going to take you inside a couple of rooms that hardly anyone gets to see. We are in the Palace of Versailles. This is Emily, famous guide. It's lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you, buddy. Tell me about Louis XV. Yeah, Louis XV and the mistress, maybe, of Louis XV. When you say mistresses, I immediately think of something being a little bit naughty or a little bit no, secret. No, 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 not at all. This is not the case with mistresses. No. Mistress, it's a very official role in Versailles. And the thing we're going to look at today mm. are some of the apartments that were used by the mistresses. And these aren't always open to the public at the moment, but we're going to have a look. Yes, of course. If you follow me. Please. You're welcome. It already feels a little bit behind the scenes, doesn't it, here? <laughs> this is the backstage. Yeah. OK. Here we go. OK. Welcome into the Madame de Pompadour apartment. In 1745, when Madame de Pompadour was introduced in Versailles into the court in an official function of mistress, she lived here. And the first gift of the king when she became the mistress was a title of Marquise. So Madame de Pompadour, she was friends with the Queen. She wasn't really the friend of the Queen, uh, but she was accepted because she, the Queen had no choice. Madame de Pompadour was very smart because she understood that to be in Versailles and to have a real official place, it was important for her to have a relationship with the Queen. Why is she an important woman? What did she do that makes her still important today? Firstly, because she was as a prototype of the ambitious woman. She became uh, very important in the court, but more of that, very important in the kingdom. And she became very important for the arts, because for the first time, a woman used the arts as a propaganda. And there is yeah. a portrait of her here. Shall we have a look yes. at this? this She's is... here. This is amazing. This is a really lovely portrait. Lovely, amazing, and very interesting, because uh, she was represented here as da uh, Diana. Diana is a very famous goddess, the goddess of the hunt. So this is very much what she would have looked like when she first met Louis XV, when she hunted him. <laughs> yes. yes, it's an interesting comparison. Yes. This is the entrance room, but her bedroom is next door. You, I... you know I want to see the bedroom. Yes, of course, it's very important. And this is where she slept. Yes, she slept here. So, Emily, the king would come to this bed to have romantic time with Madame de Pompadour? But not in the romantic sense we could imagine today. But it's more on the discussion, uh, sharing a taste of the arts and uh, intellectual things. Because after six years she spent as a mistress in Versailles, she became the best friend and she had the best of the king because she had the discussions, she had a perfect apartment downstairs. And at this moment, she chosen the mistress of the king. So you were talking about Madame de Pompadour's taste and style and it's reflected in this room. Can you tell me a bit about that? The Rococo style, it's uh, the first 50 years of the 18th century. And this is the style of the curve. If you look around you, you have uh, no real straight lines. The, the Rococo, it's completely uh, attached with Madame de Pompadour's reign. What happened to her? Did she live a long time? How did she die? She died because she had pneumonia and she died in Versailles. It's very important because it's a privilege uh, given by the king to die in Versailles. But was that it? Did the king have more mistresses? After four years, the king met a new woman, Madame du Barry. Madame du Barry, when she came along, she wasn't here. She had a different apartment. Yeah. Can we see them? Yes, of course. Another mistress, yeah. another apartment. Let's go and have a look. This is a hidden passage. So this was the passage the king would have used to, yes. to get to his mistress. We're going into the bathroom. It was the bathroom of Madame de Pompadour here. Transform into a library for right. Louis XVI at the end of the 18th century. It's a nice bathroom. I didn't think I'd get to see her bathroom. Shall we continue? Oh, yeah, but this is closed. Oh, we need key, do we? Have you not got the key? I haven't the key. We haven't got the key. <laughs> Listen to that bell. Can you hear that bell? Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> I love that. Are we right near the clock? Let's go this way. We really are behind the scenes here. <laughs> this is amazing. Here we are into the Madame du Barry apartment and she was the last mistress of the king at the end of the reign. This is his final mistress. She was very different. Madame de Pompadour was very ambitious, but Madame du Barry was just a, a young woman in love of the king. What was the background of Madame du Barry? Madame du Barry was uh, from the low people. Step by step, she became a prostitute as an escort today, but 
she met a lot of people in this uh, activity. She met uh, Mr. Dubarry, who was uh, as a pimp, and Mr. Dubarry, step by step, organized a meeting with the king. The king took a prostitute as his mistress, and this was an acceptable thing, obviously. Yeah, it wasn't very official. Uh, a lot of people knew, but a lot of people ignored that. What the king wants, the king gets. Yeah. This is just one room in the whole lot of apartment. Should we go and have a look at the rest? Yes, of course. Emily, what happened to Madame du Barry? Did she die here? The king died. She left Versailles and she spent a lot of time in Louisiane. She had a new lover. But during the French Revolution, she was decapitated. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> that's not a happy ending. No, it's not a happy end. <laughs> It's been really interesting to get to see these apartments and we feel very lucky because obviously this is not normally open to the public, so thank you very much. It's a pleasure to talk about these things okay. and to tell about these stories. You got more stories to tell? Yes, of course, right, let's a lot of them. Let's hear some more stories. <laughs>